Hello fellow coffee botherers, this is the fifth video in the Sage or Breville dual boiler series and in this video we're going to be talking about this, the dynamic dual package. This is going to be a short video compared to a longer video, although it's going to be a long video when compared to much shorter ones. All I want to do with this video is encourage anyone who's thinking about buying the dual boiler, especially in the UK, to buy the dynamic duo. I'll explain why shortly. Firstly, you might ask the question, what is the Dynamic Duo? This is a really complex question to answer, so bear with me. The Dynamic Duo is a bundle deal for the Dual Boiler and the Smart Grinder Pro. I lied about the complexity. You already know all about the Dual Boiler, of course, because you've watched my other four videos in this series. If you haven't, click here to start the playlist. In case you don't know much about the Sage Smart Grinder Pro, I'll go into a bit more detail on the grinder shortly. But in a nutshell, the Smart Grinder Pro is one of the best affordably priced all-rounder coffee grinders on the market that's also capable of grinding for espresso. There are lots of entry-level grinders that are suitable for manual brew and for espresso with pressurised baskets, but standard basket capable espresso grinders usually start at quite a bit more money than the Sage Smart Grinder Pro. So the Smart Grinder Pro is among the lowest priced grinder available that will work for standard baskets, meaning that they'll grind fine enough and have enough grind settings. I've had one of these for years and I used it as my main grinder for espresso for a long time before I upgraded to the Niche Zero and I think they're a great grinder for the money. And guess what? I don't think you should use this with the Sage or Breville Dual Boiler, but I do think you should buy the Dynamic Duo package, as I said, especially if you're in the UK. First, to explain why I wouldn't recommend pairing the dual boiler with the Smart Grinder Pro, and just to contradict myself, I'm going to use the dual boiler with the Smart Grinder Pro while explaining why I don't think you should. As I've said in other videos in this series, the dual boiler is an amazingly capable espresso machine, but the espresso machine is only half of the equation. The grinder is very important. Some bossy commenting know it alls would say more important than the espresso machine. The Smart Grinder Pro is a good pairing for entry-level machines, the Bambino, Bambino Plus, the Longi Dedica, Gaggia Classic Pro, but I just don't think it's the right level of grinder to pair with the dual boiler. It will work, in fact it'll work fine, and I know lots of people who use this pairing, and as I said in the last video in the series, I think the Smart Grinder Pro is fine to start out with. But upgrading your grinder to something with a bit more oomph and higher performance burrs will give you better shock potential and allow you to work with a wider range of beans. So why buy the Dynamic Duo? The first reason is that in the UK, this package is only £50 more than buying the dual boiler on its own. The difference is about $100 in the States, about $200 in Australia. It's £210 in the UK, so getting it for £50 is the deal of the century. You're getting it for less than a quarter of the usual cost. Even if you're planning on pairing the dual boiler with another grinder right from the off, having the Smart Grinder Pro as a backup and for manual brew methods is a great idea if you can get it for £50. So in my humble opinion, especially if you're in the UK, if you're buying the dual boiler, you're missing a trick if you don't buy the Dynamic Duo package. If you don't have the budget to spend another four or five hundred pounds or even more on a grinder at this stage, then as I've said, the Smart Grinder Pro is fine. It's simply that you'll raise the shot potential and the range of beans you can work with by upgrading the grinder in the future. When I'm talking about the range of beans, what I'm really talking about here is lighter roasts. The dual boiler has the ability to work with them, but to be able to do this without issues, you'll need to sink a bit more money into a grinder with a more powerful motor. What sometimes happens when trying to grind less porous, light roast, single origins on the Sage grinders, especially when trying to grind fine enough for espresso with standard baskets, is the clutch kicks in to stop the grinder from eating itself. This is a good thing really because the gears would strip or something else not particularly good would probably happen if it wasn't for this, but it's not a good thing in terms of having to resort to the old school mortar and pestle or my special method, the thumb squash. <gasps> As you can see, the Smart Grinder Pro has a portafilter cradle. It comes with two, one for the 58mm portafilter and one for the 54mm. Even with the Dynamic Duo package, you get both. So if you ended up giving it away or selling it to someone with a Bambino or Bambino Plus, for example, it has the cradle for both portafilter sizes. 
It has 60 grind settings via the grind adjustment knob and the digital screen, and it also has 10 internal adjustments. This doesn't mean it has 600 grind settings though, as I've seen some people suggesting, as these aren't macro and micro adjustments as with some of the Baratza grinders. The internal adjustment is intended to allow you to continue to grind finely as the burrs wear. If you find you need to, you can make the grinder slightly finer by adjusting this, but I'd recommend you take it no finer than setting five from the factory preset six. Because if you take it finer than this with new burrs, you'll just set the zero point, the point at which the burrs start touching, higher up. If we've published the video going into more detail on that yet, you'll see it on the top right of your screen. You can grind on demand or by time, and once you're dialed in, meaning you're no longer adjusting the grind size, you can grind by time to get roughly the same weight. As you'll see, it gives suggested grind settings for various brew methods as you turn in the adjustment knob, which is handy. The grinds catcher can easily be pulled out to clean. The burrs can easily be taken out to clean, especially the top burr or outer burr, as that's very easy to remove. Overall, it's a really nice little grinder, especially when you get it for £50. And although I don't think it's the best pairing for the dual boiler, it's more than capable enough of getting you started while you save up for something a bit higher end to pair with the dual boiler. And it's great as a backup grinder and for manual brew methods. I will do another video on the best grinders to pair with the dual boiler, by the way, and some specific videos taste testing the most common pairings. So subscribe and allow notifications to see them when they're done. The code in the matrix actually comes from a sushi cookbook, and that has nothing to do with clicking the like button, but click the like Whoa. button, or you may create a glitch in the matrix. But click the Whoa. like button, or you may create a glitch in the matrix. Thank you very much for watching, and if you love coffee and enjoyed this video, we've got tons of content about how to make better coffee at home to take you from beginner to home barista. We've got reviews and how-tos on the most popular machines. If you like the sound of that, click my face to subscribe. Tatty bye.